Greetings to our global employees. Hi, I'm Stefan, your global Mobis News MC. Hello, I'm Karain. Karain, did you have a good vacation? Yeah, it was great. I had such a good time. That's great. It really looked like it. And you seem so well rested. Yeah, I'm all refreshed and super happy to be back. And it looks like there were some changes around here. Oh yeah, you noticed. We've revamped a little bit. Yeah, it feels a bit more laid back in here. Definitely. How do you like it? I love it. It's really nice, really fresh. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what news we have this month. Wow. It looks like we have quite a few. <laughs> Why don't we dive into each one in detail? Mm -hmm. Hyundai Mobis participated in IAA 2023, the largest motor show in Europe. At the event, they met with European clients in the automotive industry. And for the public, they showcased the Kia EV9, the eCCPM platform and more. And this resulted in a ton of attention and positive feedback. Wow, uh, just out of curiosity, do you know why they showcase the EV9 in particular? Oh yeah, well, the EV9 features Hyundai Mobis's core components like battery system assembly and power electric system. And they were showcasing their core components through the EV9. Mm, I see. And I also read that Mobis showcased around 20 advanced technologies related to electrification and automotive electric parts at IAA 2023. Yeah, definitely. And the team there did an incredible job. Research engineers from Mobis R&D Center in Mabuk, Korea and our R&D Center in Frankfurt were at the event to provide profound insights and context about every single item that was there on display. And I wonder how amazing it must have been for those who had the chance to be there. Well. Like I said, maybe we'll go to the next one together. Yeah. <laughs> so not only did Mobis showcase their products, they also discussed potential business collaborations with major European car makers like Volkswagen, Daimler and BMW for exciting future opportunities. Wow, that's amazing. I recently also read that Hyundai Mobis successfully secured an order from Volkswagen for battery system assembly, a core electrification component. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, through this order, Mobis's battery system will be installed in Volkswagen's next generation EV platform. And this is just one of the many amazing feats that represent the result of a tremendous amount of time and effort from the Mobis team. Wow, I can't imagine how meaningful this must be for the team. Well, it sounds like IAA is a crucial networking opportunity for not only Mobis, but all automotive companies alike. I look forward to seeing how Mobis continues to progress in the European market. Next up, we have a report that Mobis Ventures Silicon Valley, or MVSV, held their second annual Mobis Mobility Day event. What kind of event is it? Oh, Mobis Mobility Day is an event where Mobis invites investors and individuals from startups involved in the field of future mobility. Here, they introduce Hyundai Mobis's future technology development directions, investment strategies, and global tech trends to network and expand opportunities. Ah, I heard that MVSV hosted this meaningful event, right? Why don't we connect to our host for more information? Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Karain. Hi, and I'm Stefan from Hyundai Mobis. Hi guys, uh, it's great to meet you guys. Uh, really happy to be on the show. Thanks for having me. My name is Mitchell Yoon. I'm the head of office at Hyundai Mobis Ventures, Silicon Valley. Can you tell us a little bit more about the theme of this year's MMD? And what kind of implications does it have? Sure. Uh, so this year's theme is quite simple, clean mobility. So clean is about battery and mobility is about EV car. So it's the EV motor and EV battery and it's EV car. So this is what we are trying to talk about. And the significant is that we want to gather three times the attendees compared to last year event. And hopefully we could share what we do best and also what Mobis Ventures do and afterward, we could find some ways to collaborate. Were there any memorable moments? Of course. Um, I don't know if you know this, but uh, we organized, hosted this event, just the two of us, and then uh, we are done. I'm so relaxed, and uh, we're doing great. And hopefully after this, have a lot of follow-up emails, a lot of calls, and see if we could find some ways to work together. Can you share a bit about how MVSV came to take charge of this event? Sure. Uh, so we did our first uh, MMD event last year. And before doing that, we organized, we planned, and we had to host it. And we had to propose it to headquarters. And then we got approval. So this is our first uh, major activity that we proactively ask headquarters for approval. And we have a lot of pride because we did this by two of us and then we are very proactive about it. 
Wow, I think we had quite a dynamic conversation today. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Stefan. Uh, thank you, Kry. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Well, we have some additional content introducing MVSV and the event on our YouTube channel. So please subscribe to stay tuned for all upcoming videos. Hyundai Moses R&D Center in North America, MTCA, recently hosted an engaging open house event for major North American clients such as GM and Stellantis from September 11th to 12th. Here, they offered clients a unique opportunity to explore their cutting-edge technology through demonstrations and experiences. Wow, interesting. Can you tell me how exactly were these demonstrations unique? Well, there was an impressive showroom featuring over 20 advanced technology products, including IVI systems, innovative lamp designs, electrification components, and more. What made this event unique is that they showcased the major functions of ADES, Level 2, and Incamit sensor technology through test drives on the GV60 demo car. From what I know, ADES Level 2 means that while the vehicle can handle steering and speed control on its own, it still requires the intervention of the driver. It must have been quite an experience. Like, what about the in-cabin sensor technology? What was so special about that? Well, in-cabin sensor technology reads the driver's biometric signals and combines them with vehicle driving information to preemptively detect situations where the driver may become distracted or inattentive. It then sends out timely warnings for safer driving. Wow, that sounds like a pretty clever piece of technology. I heard that they also showcased their three key systems for parking. Uh, there was the AVP, the Automated Valet Parking, the RSPA2, Remote Self-Parking Assistance 2, and there was NA, which is Parking Assistance in Narrow Spaces. And just like controlling an RC car, these smart parking technologies will absolutely revolutionize the way we park. Yep. This open house really demonstrated Mobis' future vision of safer and smarter driving. Not only did MTCA host this open house, but they also participated in their second annual Detroit Auto Show. Ah, uh, yes, I heard that took place this year from September 13th to 14th. And this year they set up a small booth displaying their infotainment systems, in-cabin sensing technology, adaptive driving beam or ADB technology, and way more. Mm -hmm. I heard there were positive reactions from all the visiting clients. Yeah, you're right. Through the Detroit Auto Show, they were able to network with key clients and also conduct business-related promotions to lead to many more exciting opportunities. Wow! So, with IAA, the Open House and the Detroit Show, it seems like it's been a globally busy time for Mobis. Right. Mm. <laughs> Hyundai Mobis is actively pursuing the development of a 5G-based integrated controller for V2X, otherwise known as Vehicle to Everything technology, in collaboration with the Israeli semiconductor design company called Autotox. Wow. To explain to our viewers more about V2X technology, it is a technology that goes beyond V2V and V2P technology and allows for the vehicle to be connected with everything around them. This includes buildings, stoplights, the driver's homes and other infrastructures. I'm not quite familiar with the company Autotalks though. Could you tell me a little more about that? Uh, yeah, they're a company known for having industry-leading semiconductor design capabilities in the V2X field. And they were also recently acquired by the US semiconductor company called Qualcomm. Wow, I guess I was the only one in the dark about such a prominent company. Uh, so what exactly is 5G-based V2X technology? Well, for example, you know how sometimes at an intersection there are drivers that take a sudden right turn without knowing what's around the corner? Well, for instances like this, V2X technology utilizes information from cameras installed at intersections to alert drivers of dangerous situations. This, in turn, helps prevent accidents. And what's more, it can also send drivers information about pedestrian crossings when drivers are turning right or stop and go traffic, all helping bring down those accidents. Wow, you said they're just starting to develop this technology, right? Yeah, that's right. In addition to developing a vehicle 5G communication module last year, Hyundai Mobis plans to lead the market with a new telematics product that integrates V2X technology. I am definitely excited to see how telematics technology transforms the future. Hyundai Mobis Technical Center India, or MTCI, hosted their 11th annual Women's Cricket League in August. This year, all female employees participated with Team Chassis and CAE taking home the grand trophy. Wow, a cricket league for female employees? It sounds like a great event to boost teamwork and morale. Yeah, definitely. 
Especially with the fact that it's taking place in India, where women's rights are such an important topic. It seems like Mobis really celebrates creating a constructive and healthy environment for their employees. I think that this competition is so empowering for women and also a great way for the team to bond. It seems like there's so much happening at Mobis, not only in a technical field, but in a different field as well. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone, and we hope that those who didn't win this year can look forward to claiming victory next year. We will be rooting for those in MTCI. Keep up the amazing work, and thank you for letting us share your story. And with that, we've wrapped up all the news we wanted to share. Karayan, how does it feel to be back on set? Did you have fun today? I did for sure. And there are so many things to learn and see, and I'm truly amazed every time. I would love to know what our viewers thought as well. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below for us to see. Thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you in a month. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>